My name is Alan O'Kranick. I specialize in laparoscopic surgery and I came up with a way to teach laparoscopic surgery to doctors around the world. I've always been very interested in international work and international medicine, even dating back to medical school. We just looked around the world where we thought, you know, we could help. We had this passion for this and we identified Croatia and the former Yugoslavia where, you know, this was a war-torn area. We worked in some orphanages there and we worked with the Red Cross with, you know, people that had suffered throughout the war. I just think that if there are opportunities and ways that we can help others, it's really our responsibility to do that. My clinical specialty is in minimally invasive surgery, but my research expertise is really in how to teach this kind of surgery using simulators. An FLS box basically has a lid and a base and there's a camera inside it and it's meant to kind of replicate the abdomen and inside it uh, we can put any kind of task and then in front of you is a monitor and on that monitor you can see what you're doing. The tasks teach basic skills that you need to do laparoscopy. And that's it! I got the idea back in the spring of 2007 after we had a disappointing trip to Botswana. And this was when the idea for telesimulation came up. I'd gone there for two weeks to train 20 doctors on our surgical simulator. They all improved, but unfortunately only two of the 20 were able to be certified. Obviously it was very disappointing to all of us. The whole plane ride home, I'm thinking, how can we improve this? There has to be a better way. How can we help these doctors get their training hours in without us having to be there? On my return, we're unpacking it. There's, you know, stuff everywhere. Uh, you know, there's cables. And I remember just then, in that moment, you know, kind of thinking that, why can't we just use this like a webcam? Why can't we then connect with these people over the internet rather than having to travel there for 30 hours there and back. So that's when you know the light went off and we thought this is something that was possible. So in the fall of 2007 we retrained the same surgeons in Botswana. We would connect with them over Skype once a week for eight weeks. Okay, so Len, I'm going to put my, my instruments in, and I'll just get you to do the same when you're ready. When they were practicing, they weren't constantly making the same errors. We could give them feedback and help them improve. So Peter, I just want to show you a few things to remember to work on in the next week. After those eight weeks, we had them retested, and we had a 100% passing rate. It was amazing. That was a great feeling. So that's when really we thought, wow, you know, this really works and we're onto something here. Beautiful, well done. The brilliance of this was that surgeons in Africa, in South America, in Europe, in many different places now, have been able to link up to the expertise here at the University Health Network to learn technical skills that they otherwise might not have been able to learn. Hey, how? Hi, Josephine, how are you? Good, good. We've now developed similar programs in 12 countries around the world on almost all continents. And now we've trained almost 150 surgeons around the world. It's quite novel and I think it's quite a, a breakthrough discovery in, in terms of the, the delivery of skills. I believe that this is great opportunity for surgeons in Ukraine to get and improve their skills and by that improve quality of care provided for our patients. Now I am a full laparoscopic surgery. I started to work with uh, surgeons in my hospital in Colombia and we started the program there. It is certainly carrying us into a realm of surgery that will put us on par with other areas in the world. Now that we've 
trained so many different surgeons around the world, in those places we're starting to ask what are the next steps. Okay, grab, transfer, drop it. Good. We're basically saying let's train the trainers. Remember that the ideal time for this one is 60 seconds, okay? Let's train them, but then set up hubs in these particular cities where then they can use a similar way of training in countries and cities around them. If we continue doing that, we are uh, helping patients around the world. It's not good. Try to work with the feet down. The use of technology to share expertise we have at the University Health Network can be applied to an almost infinite number of areas. Telesimulation really says, you know, the world is a smaller place now. It's obviously something that I'm very proud of. I also love empowering people to then be able to help others as well. I think that's what makes me the happiest.